nice enough to give us some. <laughs> Can't see anything, Dave. Exactly. There you go. That's bomb. You're not the only one with the glasses <laughs> now. Looks like the big problem here, though, is cloud cover could affect what people see. Uh, unfortunately, that could be the biggest issue, not just here. And again, our coverage about 88%, but this is the path here. Look at this. This one model has cloud cover all the way through and to get to New England. Now, as a meteorologist, I would think if there's any cloud cover in April, it's going to be the Northeast, not the Deep South. Well, Mother Nature's trying to throw, uh, I guess, a wrench at this whole thing, but hopefully it breaks up a little bit. But here in Birmingham, again, you'll need those glasses, but 88% of the sun will be blocked here, and that will occur about 2 o'clock in the afternoon there. So the forecast, unfortunately, cloudy. Could have some rain. Hopefully this improves a little bit uh, before we get to Monday. We still have a lot of time, and once we get close to the high-resolution models, which are more 48 hours out, uh, we'll have a better idea. Yeah, but just keep that in mind, may not be able to see too much. Right now, we'd have a few clouds out there from our BJCC camera. Temperatures coming in 54 degrees. Winds are not near as breezy as they were earlier today. We're at 53 in Tuscaloosa, 48 right now. A few in Hamilton, 53. Gats in Asheville area back toward Anniston. Alabaster about 52, but temperatures about 10 to 20 degrees colder right now compared to yesterday. We're dealing with those storms coming on in, some of them severe. And again, the winds have really become a lot lighter out there. However, there are going to pick back up as we headed to tomorrow. So tomorrow morning we're in the lower 40s. Maybe a few spots get into the upper 30s out there, but it'll still be a little bit of a breeze. Winds of 5 to 10 miles per hour will make it feel like the mid and upper 30s. So definitely recommend the jacket or sweatshirt as you head out the door. Just a couple of clouds out there this evening. That's why we're going mostly clear for tonight, and it's all thanks to again our low that's up here to the north as that continues to spin around. We're on the southern edge of it. It's bringing us a little bit of some cloud cover here, and we'll have that from time to time for tomorrow as well too as our system moves away from us. So we'll start off in the 40s, slowly warming to the lower 60s by the afternoon, but those winds by 9 a.m. starting to be around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Could be around 15 to 25 at times for tomorrow afternoon as we have highs in the upper 50s to mid 60s tomorrow. Then on Friday morning, frosty weather mid to upper 30s are expected across the area. You need to protect those plants and also for Saturday morning, more of those mid to upper 30s to lower 40s. Fortunately, the temperatures start to rise as we headed to the weekend and things are looking pretty good. How about 68 Saturday after that morning frost? Mostly sunny Sunday, 74 degrees. If you headed to Phoenix for the game, 88 tomorrow with 60s on Friday and Saturday. Now looking ahead, we do have rain back in the forecast Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Unfortunately, could see some thunderstorms out there right now. Not looking severe, but I'll be watching to see how this evolves. But there you see the warmer temperatures next week. And again, those clouds may obscure that eclipse on Monday afternoon. That's a look at your storm team seven day forecast. Thank you.